Hi, we're here at the Safety at Sea Seminar in Annapolis, Maryland, and we're at the swimming pool doing some hands-on demonstrations today, taking a look at manual bilge pumps. Every boat should have one, and we're giving people a chance to see how much effort and time it takes to move a given amount of water. And the whole idea here is to uh, be self-sufficient and get the boat home and, and not lose it at sea. And with the right tools, you can, you can get the job done. We'll kind of talk a little bit about bilge pumps in general. What, what's, the, what's the philosophy with them? The philosophy of a bilge pump is to be able to generate the capacity ne needed to deal with any water ingress into your boat. So the first thing you need to do is to understand how much capacity you have mm -hmm. with, for your electric pump and for your manual pumps. And so I guess when you, the, the, the first thing you want to do is you want to find the leak and stop it, right? Exactly. Obviously. You want to make sure you get your electric bilge pumps going and then you go to look for point of ingress. That's the most important thing. Yep. And if you can't stop it, slow it down so that you get to a point with knowing that your, your pumps can handle that what's coming in. Mm -hmm. Now there's some that would like to say, okay, if your boat's 40 feet, this is what your pumping capacity has to be. Uh -huh. I'm a big believer that instead of regulation, I think you've got to take personal responsibility. You know where you're going to go with the boat. If you're in a remote area, then you need to be a lot more self-sufficient. Gotcha. If you're in the middle of Buzzards Bay, maybe perhaps a little bit less so. It's manageable and it's doable, and certainly pumps have saved a lot of boats. Uh, yep. But the, the key is being prepared and having through-hole plugs and having a, having a way to plug a rudder post hole, uh -huh. uh, making sure that you stay up with the manufacturer's recommendations on replacing a sail drive bladder. Mm -hmm. I mean, those things are all critically important. We sell these pumps that we're demoing today mounted on a board. They're a portable pump. Uh -huh. They could be handed to another boat in distress because uh -huh. there may not be a problem on your boat. It may be the boat you know, next door in an anchorage that all of a sudden mm -hmm. has a water issue and you, and you need to get pumping over to them. Talk a little bit about the conditions and what you need to think about. The placement of the pump, if permanently installed, should be done in a way that you can brace yourself in a seaway mm -hmm. and so you can get your body behind the pumping motion mm -hmm. because then you have a greater sustainability rate of pumping action and that's really critical. So water's heavy, you got to move it and it takes a certain amount of energy to do it. Some of the takeaways I think that we've come up with is that you can't have a pump that's too big. When you need it, you need it. And when you need to move water out of your boat, you need to move it quickly. Bilge pump alarm is gonna let you know that you have a problem. You gotta get down there, you gotta find your leak, you gotta plug that or stem the flow a little bit. Get it to the point where you can keep up with it with your pumps if you wanna get home without calling the Coast Guard. And I think the other takeaway here that I would recommend is to make sure that you have multiple pumps on board. Uh, you have the electric pump that's gonna buy you some time, but then you've got the manual pump if your batteries flood or if they, if they go dead on you. Like everything else on a boat, redundancy is a very good thing, and the more that you think about it and think ahead of time of how you're going to work the pump and get to the pump and clean the pump out in case it gets clogged, the more you think about that when you're sitting at the dock and you're safe in your harbor, the more you're going to be ready to, to go when you get out there on the, on the ocean and you run into trouble. Be safe out there. <laughs>